hello everyone you are welcome back to house of ada and in today's video i'll be sharing with you how to make your boot cut play trouser like the one i'm wearing so if you stick with me you are going to learn how to make this trouser from the comfort of your home and meanwhile if you have not subscribed make sure to hit the subscribe button below and click on the notification bell below as well so you can be notified on when we upload new videos so without wasting much of your time guys let's go straight into the video to make this trouser i'm using my jeans material this is the front part and this is the back i will be drawing on the back and my full length is 45 so you mark out your i'm not i'm going to cut off this part so i give you my guideline to making a trouser i'm cutting into four pieces two for the front and two for the back because i am making a flay you don't cut it normally you fold your trouser but because it's a boot cut flay trouser you cut it bit by bit this is my front part you cut your front first and you use the front to trace the back this is the front you place your tape and say um this is my waist here waist to my hip is 11 i'm making a high flay trouser to 11 to my knee my knee is 20 and my full length is 45 with um one and a half inch of folding in full length here to mark your flap my flap is 12 it's normally 10 but because it's high waisted you want it too long my flap is going to be i will mark it at 11 here so by the time i cover it it will end up being 12. i'm going to mark out four inches here and i will take it down to meet this 11 here like this my waist is 34 my hip my waist is 34 34 into 4 is eight and a half i mark eight and a half here and remember here i will take out half inch for sewing seam sewing allowance here so this is eight and a half with half inch seam allowance my hip is 44 44 into 4 11 i mark out 11 here with half inch sewing allowance Am I making sense? My then you curve here. So I take in here to meet the knee here. But I will show you what I'm doing now in a bit. So I connect this line to the hip here. This is what I'm doing. You connect it to the hip and my flap. That is your lap is um my lap is 26 26 into 2 is 13 so i have 13 here i now curve this in to meet this 13 to so my knee is 20 i make sure it is well fitted let me make sure i'm still going to 20 so this is my knee here and around my knee here is 20 i make sure you say 20 into 2 because you are marking one leg and the other leg you mark it the same way you are marking this you see at my knee is 20 20 into 2 is 10 you remember to put in your half inch allowance i have that so when it comes to the end to this side after the knee here after the knee you start to flay it this is where your knee stops you now flay it you extend your hand and this one from here you extend your hand slightly like this and you do that here as well and this is the full length 
this is it and when you have achieved this you cut it out As you can see, there is shape already around your hip line, fitted and out. So with this, I trace out the back pattern. And this is the front one and this is the back. I folded the fabric into two, making the front to face together. So that is the front part and this is the back. Since I'm going to still draw on the back, I'm going to, and I first this is the opposite way so you can see the difference this is the front i'm going to cut the back now and for me to cut the back on the front side here you slant in half just a little bit because the front is going to be lower than your back if you see all your trousers the front is lower and the back is longer so i will cut half an inch here but the back will still be higher straight like this so i'll trim off this when i'm sewing so for me to make the back, like we have the back to be longer, so I will trace out this as it is in front. But when it comes to this place here, towards this end, I will add in two and a half inches there. This is because we have got, you know, big meat at the back. You have your bum bum, so this is going to cover your bum. This is. 2.5 inches here two and a half so I will add that and take this down all the way today but as it goes in I'm going to reduce it so but you have to add half an inch so the back is half an inch no bigger not longer sorry so I will stop it here at the end here This is what I have here, but every other part is going to be the same. I will trace it out like I did on the front. So this is it here. Like I said, the only thing I did on the back one is to add this here and then make it straight while the front one is a bit curved. This is the front and this is the back. The back one, I'm going to pin it up. I'm going to sew all to this place. But the front is going to be different because the front will have a zip. Cut the other part of the front one, making sure that they are both faced front to front side. This is the front part, all done. When I had to cut my flap, these are the things that I will use to attach. I will use this to attach my zipper. Here. so this is the way it's going to be and for the back the only thing I will add at the back is my pocket I don't want pockets in the front part so I'm going to add my pocket here go and fix these two and I already cut out my band my band is four inches width with um, 37 inches length so this is it because my waist is 34 so I made two inches extra allowance in case the flap needs to be covered so this is it here so i folded half an inch inward and i ironed this is my band so the next thing now is to go and sew so as you can see i already made the pocket with coding color to give it a more defined look so it can be seen on the back and here is my flap and I'm going to sew in my sleeve in the front part. I have sewn here halfway and I'm going to sew out. So in this one, I'm going to sew in my flap. So I sewed half because I have a short zip. In this way, I'm going to attach the first one here with my zip placed in between. Facing the front side, so when you sew, it's going to be the zip is going to be 
in between the fabric and the flap so i will hold this down with my pins this is because i'm trying to make it more understandable for beginners and this one i'm going to sew all around here and here i will sew at the edge holding them together So when I pin it together, I'm going to sew here. So the next thing is to iron, open up to make sure your zip is not stuck. So I'm going to iron and top stitch. You do this to make sure that it is very flat. After top stitching, this is what it looks like. So here now I can place it from the back the other side of the open zip and I'm going to sew secure it with a pin to make sure that you are sewing on the right side and make sure you don't sew on top of the other fabric on the other flap piece you open it up and sew after sewing this is what it looks like i top stitch on top of that to make it more relaxed now is to join the front and the back part together and by doing that i'm going to pin it all up to make sure that i sew on the right side After sewing, I turn it all out, start ironing. The next thing now is, as you can see, this is your boot cut play. You can see the boot is already cut and played up down the leg. So the next thing is to attach my pants. So I fold it in like this give it a smooth look I attach it all round you can sew from the inside and turn it out so I attach from the inside and I pin it all round and sew secure it to give it a smooth fit and this is the leg I'm folding it 1.5 inch inward you can use your hemming gum but I prefer to so, so I'm going to stitch it one and a half inch inside. I'm folding it in with a pin because it's play. If you don't do this, it's going to look like a messed up stitch after sewing without pinning it down. This is it. All done. Don't forget to do your final trimmings. You iron it, and it's all done. So the next thing now is to do my buttons, but I don't think I will do a button. So I will be using a skirt foot to do that, and it's easier for me. I have always done it like that. So I will go and fix this. Wear it to show you the fittings. So this is it as you can see the christmas rice is still in my belly <laughs> thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video please don't forget to like this video share and subscribe bye bye